Hello everyone. In this video I want to look at simplifying a rational expression with complex numbers. There are two types of division problems involving complex numbers, or in this case involving rational expressions. This is the first case where I have a single term in the denominator with a complex number. In other words, I have 2i. I have one term in the denominator and it has an i. That's the first case, which you see here. When you're asked to simplify, or sometimes you're asked to divide these numbers, the idea is to get, much like with rationalizing radicals, you want to get your i out of the denominator. It's okay if we have it in the numerator, but in this case we want it out of the denominator. When I have a single term, a single term with the i, the simplest way to get rid of the i is to multiply it by another i. And to balance it out, I'll do the same thing to the numerator. So when I multiply, in my denominator I'll have 2i squared. In the case of my numerator, I'll have to distribute my i to both terms. So that'll give me a 3i plus i squared. Now recall that i squared is defined as negative 1. So I'm going to substitute that for my i squareds as I see it here. So I'm going to have now 3i plus, now it's just negative 1, and down here 2 times negative 1. When I evaluate, I'll have 3i minus 1, or plus negative 1, same thing, over negative 2. So now my radical, excuse me, my uh, imaginary unit is out of the denominator, and this is now simplified. If you wanted to, you could take this a step further and split this fraction, meaning that you'll have 3 over negative 2, and then negative 1 over a negative 2. Which would then become 3 over negative 2 plus 1 half. And let me try writing that a little bit neater so it's actually legible. So 3 over negative 2 plus, as I said, one half because of the two negatives. And that's a choice. Because of personal preference after a while, I usually prefer to keep it like this. It can vary depending on uh, instructor, what a question is asking for. All are valid answers, but this is how we do it. Let's look at this one. Same idea. I have a single term in the denominator, which has a, a i value. So I'm going to automatically multiply by i. And notice, it doesn't matter what the coefficient of this is. I don't even bother with the coefficient here, just times the i. In this case, it's just a single term up top, so it becomes 3i over 6i squared. And again, I'll make my substitution. 3i over 6 times negative 1. So I have 3i over negative 6. Now I want to continue to simplify. So I can reduce 3 and 6 each by 2, or excuse me, by 3. And I get 1i, or just i, over negative 2. My i now removed from the denominator. This will be my final answer. Lastly, same kind of problem. All I observe is I have a single term in the denominator with an i. I'm going to automatically multiply by i to the numerator and denominator. My denominator, I have a negative 3i squared. After distributing my i to both terms, I'll have i plus 7i squared. Again, making my substitution. 
i plus 7 times negative 1 over negative 3 times negative 1 and I make this i minus 7 over negative 3 times negative 1 becomes a positive 3 and as I said you could split this into i over 3 minus 7 over 3 if you want it in complex form in what some would say true complex form again my i is removed from the denominator so I have rationalized it and divided it as far as I want to go